Satan has you right where he wants you to be and that is in a constant loop of self-sabotage. And you may say no, but think about it. If you are complaining, you are creating more of what it is that you don't want. And I understand you may have gone through experiences where it may have left you somewhat traumatized or in a freeze response to the point where in your mind you're trying to gather how did this happen. And also it is a trauma response when you are speaking of something that may have been very hurtful to you and it's like if you keep this at the forefront of your mind somehow that'll keep you from experiencing that again when in all actuality it is the complete opposite of that words are powerful and what you put out is what you get so if you're wanting to have a life that you really enjoy if you want to have a love that you really enjoy relationship with others relationship with a job whatever it is you have to understand why negative self-talk or negative talk in general is an aspect of a self defeating prophecy yes I say self-defeating because you are defeating yourself even before you begin I want to share this story with you in regard to an eagle and chickens so there was this farmer and he had an eagle that was wounded and he raised this eagle amongst his chickens and this eagle never took flight and flew off because he was amongst the chickens there was a man that actually came by this farm and he noticed that there is an eagle that's living amongst the chickens so he began to actually question the farmer why the farmer, you know, explained how the eagle was wounded and, you know, he just raised them with his chickens. But then this person that stopped by, he decided that, okay, I'm going to take this eagle somewhere to get this eagle to actually be an eagle. So he took this eagle out and he decided that, okay, I'm going to take this eagle on top of, on top of a roof and see if the eagle will fly. Stay with me. You'll be blessed through this. And he took the eagle up there and the eagle, you know, he still looked down to the chickens and he decided that, okay, I'm not going to fly. You know, he was afraid. But then this man took the eagle to the top of a mountain. Chickens were nowhere in sight. And there was no other way for the eagle to come down other than to tap into his natural instincts and fly. And so, even though the eagle had fear... The eagle spread his wings and flew. And he began to fly higher and higher. Now the moral of this story, and hopefully I said it correctly because this is definitely an old folklore, but it has a lot of meaning. And that is, the eagle had it in him all along. But his upbringing Okay, the environment that he was in was around people that did not have his talents, his gifts, his instincts. And furthermore, there was a lack of belief within himself, which led to him having self-sabotage or a self-defeating prophecy. So think about what it is that's happening in your life. If you're in a situation where you realize that although I'm in a comfort zone, I don't quite fit in. Sometimes you could be that very eagle that's amongst chickens. It may require you to change locations. It may require you to change the environment in which you're in or the people that you're around, the job that you're at, the family that you're within in order for you to actually soar. Because what it is that you have in you is not the same that others may have in them. The chickens don't fly. So of course they could not see the eagle actually taking flight. And furthermore, they may have felt comfortable with the eagle staying on their level, but you are designed to soar. You're designed to go to higher levels and you begin to shift your complete life by focusing more so on your dreams and your ability in this season to manifest through prayers and through understanding the promises of God will be fulfilled on your life. The promises of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, will and can be fulfilled within your life if you only believe. Furthermore, when it comes to these negative self-talk, this complaining, 
You can have every excuse in the book, but when you're done doing this, more than likely you're going to be in the same position you are in and then you're not going to progress. So if you truly are honest with yourself, whatever it is that your heart desires, God does not put those desires within your heart for you to just be in this place of longing or for you to feel tortured by the things that you can't achieve. Those desires in your heart are there because you literally can't achieve them. And Satan, the enemy, demonic forces, whatever terms you feel comfortable with, they want you to speak curses over your life and over others' life. Think about it. When you begin complaining, it is like an, a snowball effect. It keeps going on and on and on. So stop it today. Realize that you can achieve what it is that you want. You can live the life that you want, but it's going to require you to recalibrate the way in which you think. You may have been accustomed to that type of talk but the mere fact that you are here today and that you know that you want different it requires you to do something different and as you take flight eagle if you are focusing so much on regaining a sense of renewal within yourself let's think about psalm 103 and 5 and it is who satisfy you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles so in this song david urges his very soul to rejoice that god grants him youth that keeps coming back like that of an eagle and the eagle represents the strongest of birds which flies at 200 miles per hour at least and can look directly into the sun the eagle even soars above the clouds you all so god is offering us strength when we are weak fortitude to look into the eye of the storm and peace to rise above our trials and any type of setback, setbacks that we may encounter even when it comes to negative self-talk and self-defeating prophecy it should come as no surprise to us that the most high christ yeshua jesus christ who created us also promises to renew our youth just like that of the eagle so without further ado I'm going to begin these affirmations. Feel free to listen or say them along with me and suspend all skepticism. Feel this with your heart. Without further ado, let's begin. I am grateful for good experiences each and every day. I am proud of the person that I am. I appreciate my life with all my heart. I am blessed. I am open to the fulfillment of God's promises. I am naturally calm and composed. I love myself unconditionally. I value the person that I am. I choose to make time for myself each day. I am valuable. I am supportive. I am radiant with positivity. I know that remaining good always overcomes evil. I am consistently making the right choices. I am not easily provoked. I am more powerful than past triggers. I am so grateful to be surrounded by those that appreciate me for exactly who I am. I love how well my life has evolved. I trust my intuition. I am happy, healthy, and safe. I feel good about myself and who I am. I am consistently making the right choices. I am not easily provoked. I have already won against others' negativity and projections. I am consistently making the right choices. I am fortunate to be blessed and highly favored. Peace and harmony is my way of life. I am so grateful to the Most High, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. So with that being said, I hope you found some sense of peace and understanding in what I was trying to share with you today. Definitely understand that you are designed for an amazing purpose. Each and every one of us have a particular purpose in our life, whether we are aware of it or not. But continue to trust the process that God is bringing you to and know that any situation that you're confronted with, you are also designed to go through it. Oftentimes, these things we are experiencing are lessons, and those lessons turn into blessings, but it's just about your perspective in which how you see it. So mount up on wings like an eagle and understand that you're going higher. Praises to the Most High, Yeshua, Jesus Christ.